Hello everyone. Welcome back to VLSA for all. I am Neeraj Cheriyala back with yet another expert talk on VLSA industry and career. And this time I am very honored to host Dr. Anuj Grover from IIIT Delhi. Thank you sir for accepting our invitation for this session. In fact, our whole team at VLSA for all is honored to host you with us. Thank you sir. Thank you again. So Thank you Neeraj. It's the pleasure is all mine. Thank you sir. So please let me introduce you sir. Anuj sir is currently the chairman of Institute Innovation Council at IIIT Delhi, associate dean of IRD and an associate professor in EC department at IIIT Delhi. Prior to this, he worked as a principal engineer at ST Microelectronics for almost 19 years. Anuj sir is a hardcore promoter of creativity and innovation. He is a trainer for in-house training from creativity to innovation at IIIT Delhi. He has a profound knowledge on circuit design especially SRAM circuit design and has got several publications and recognitions in the same. I hereby take all the pleasure once again in welcoming Anuj sir to our channel. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Neeraj. Thank you for the very kind introduction. Yes, sir. So before delving into the session, uh, we would like you to introduce yourself to our audience. Although I've introduced right. about your career a bit, we want to hear it from you. So uh, you actually gave a very nice introduction uh, uh, Neeraj, uh, what I can say is that uh, all all the things that you talked about are are good, and they are achievements that people on the outside would see. What is most important from where I look at it is that we should be good human beings. So that is what I strive to do. I strive to be a better human being every passing day, and uh, I think there is no bigger introduction than that. Beyond that, everything is immaterial. It doesn't matter. In fact, I got to know about you as a person with uh, two two of the uh, courses, sir. Uh, one one was your talk at uh, VLSID 2022, where you gave a talk on SRAM cell. And other was uh, you conducted a workshop on digital VLSI design. Uh, it was a workshop from IIIT Delhi. So those were the two sessions which I've attended and I've experienced your teaching and also your introduction as a person and all. So those were very interesting, sir. In fact, uh, thank you for the yes, kind sir. words. Yes, sir. In fact, from all the students across the country, I thank you for uh, arranging such workshops. Even though we are not a part of IIIT, we are able to experience your teaching with those workshops. So yeah, it is my endeavor to... Of, yes, sir. On behalf of all the students, we request you to, yes, sir. On behalf of all the students, we request you to conduct more such workshops from IIIT. Those were very interesting. Sure. sure. Thank you. Thank you. We will yes. do that. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, there, uh, recently, there has been a lot of media coverage about uh, electronics and VLSI design branch, which is going to be started from IIIT Delhi. So could you please talk a bit about that and how it how it is actually beneficial to the students who are going to join in that branch? Okay, so thank you for this question, Neeraj, because uh, I'm myself very excited about this branch. Uh, you know, if you go to a little bit of an history, I think in uh, late 1990s, the electronics engineering started to get converted into electronics and communication engineering because that was the time when internet was you know starting and uh, communication mobile phones everything was you know at the transition point at the cusp where things would simply explode after that and the country needed country care world needed more communication engineers so electronics engineering converted to electronics and communication engineering and that doesn't mean uh, you know, the need for communication engineering has dwindled. But today, at least the way India is and the way electronics is exploding all over the place, you know, every little thing today has electronics in it. Uh, we are interacting with each other on an electronic medium. We are uh, using phones, we are using televisions, even bulbs and tube lights, they have electronics in it. So electronics is everywhere. And there is a lot of intelligence that electronics adds to, uh, to each and every sphere of our life. And uh, therefore, we felt that there is a 
strong need to have a, a branch where VLSI, which is an enabler branch for electronics and computers and all these applications, should be taught with sufficient rigor so that we have good VLSI engineers in the country. So uh, that was where you know uh, electronics and VLSI engineering came forth, where what we have done is we have kind of substituted a few communication courses from the mandatory coursework section and replaced that mandatory coursework with VLSI courses. And uh, for the students, uh, you know, just like communications uh, took the frenzy of the world and, and grew exponentially, uh, VLSI is at that same stage. Students who pursue VLSI engineering, and we are on VLSI for all channels, so I think each one of us is well, us is well versed with the potential and the opportunities that VLSI has to offer. Students who join the VLSI industry at this stage, uh, they will actually experience an exponential growth in terms of prospects, in terms of opportunities. Uh, and uh, we, we feel that this is the most opportune time to, to join a branch like EVE. So <laughs> I think opportunities abound. There are, there are going to be more jobs. There are going to be more research opportunities. There are going to be uh, many more startup opportunities. The government of India is putting in a lot of focus on uh, developing an ecosystem for semiconductor manufacturing in the country. So uh, there's going to be a flood of jobs, a flood of opportunities that, that await the students who graduate from these courses. So I believe uh, it will be a big win for everyone who joins this program. Yes, sir. It's exactly what the industry requires right now. And I guess there's a very good decision taken by IIIT Delhi, actually. In fact, many, stu in fact, many students that I know, they feel that uh, even though they're not at all, uh, not uh, so much interested in communications, they'll have to study some communication subjects which are very specific to communications. They're not used in VLSI design. So it will be beneficial for students who, who wants to study those specific subjects related to VLSI design. And I guess it would also help them to study master level courses in, in bachelor's degree itself with this uh, yes. specialization. Yes. So what happens is that uh, in the current set of scheme, you know, or in the current scheme where ECE is the primary branch, students would take VLSI courses as electives. And then in every college, there is a, uh, so, okay, so triple ITD has a very flexible curriculum and we have a huge number of electives that we offer to our students. But not every college does that, one. And second, uh, even when there are large number of electives, there are still more that could be done, which a student is not able to do because of uh, you know time clashes, timetable clashes, and so on. When a student joins the EVE program, what happens is that uh, they're not spending time and, and slots, course slots on communication courses. So they, they are utilizing all the course slots that they have, if they want to, they can utilize them for VLSI courses. And uh, they naturally get an opportunity to get more exposed to VLSI, do master's level courses while in their BTEC. We believe that uh, students who would graduate with EVE from IIIT Delhi would be ready for a PhD degree right away because they've already done advanced courses and projects and uh, they are exposed uh, to VLSI in a manner that any MTech student is probably better than that because we have more time and to gradually introduce these courses to the students and uh, it makes a very big difference. Yes, sir. So maybe with this, we can see a lot of research from students from early on in their career into VLSI, going into VLSI. Yes. So that's actually, uh, yes, sir. So 